I've always understood that prosthetic limbs were uncomfortable and that there was a real medical need to change that. But I've never actually known any amputees until I started working on the implant. In sort of the process of thinking about how to make the best prosthetic limbs, I realized I was much better off solving the really core problem, which is how to connect those joints to the body. There are growing numbers of amputees globally. Diabetes and cardiovascular disease cause a lot of planned amputations. And for them, going to this standardized approach reduces the cost. I'm using physical exertion to open the hook, and it's really uncomfortable. And it gets sore, and you get bruised from it. We benefit from the fact that we have a very strong team and we've managed to build such a strong team because we've not been constrained on where their locale is. We have a team split across Cambridge and London, we have advisors in California, and so we have a very physically disparate team, but who all interact and talk very regularly. Our key skill is to bring applied materials and machine learning and some neuroscience and marry them with the experience of our surgeons and our clinicians and, and the, the things that patients are telling us. I swear this isn't better. <laughs> and that's where you can leverage the entrepreneurial side of what we do. So we're working with prosthetic manufacturers to try and support their devices and make sure that we're facilitating their needs as well as the patient's needs. Our product is the PID or the prosthetic interface device and we call that the USB port for the body. Instead of forming a stump and then choosing to make a socket, the hospital can install this implant into the end of the amputated limb. And the patient has a connector on the outside of their limb which the prosthetics can attach to. So the position given this current If I think about normally firing a bow, a hole, I do this. We're making a way of connecting people to devices. People can really become part of the Internet of Everything when they are connected to their electronic and robotics. Where's the water? <laughs> when I was growing up, the prosthetic options were just, well, they were pathetic. I was inspired to do all 34 Olympic sports before the end of the Rio Games to encourage inclusion through sport. Ollie and Emile have helped me make it even more possible. What we're doing will open up loads of opportunity for all sorts of people. The push, push, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's really good. The only thing I want is to make a technology that people want to use because it's providing them a better solution to make the whole experience for patients better.